and healthy ish ish <laughs> we're you know. big stress on the ish, ish. Gonna, they're both it? still Ooh. coughing but yeah and I asked Mariah, I said, do I sound nasal? I sound like I sound nasal. I don't care. Look, you can see the other camera because we moved it down so low. Let me move this magnet. You can see my, my phone <laughs> hanging out of it. Hey, we're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Let's say hello to everybody. Then I'll, I'll have, I got some announcements. I got some things. And, um. Then, uh, you know, we'll do the do and hooty dooty doo doo. Oh, hey, wait, let's do this because it's been a few days. Like a week. <laughs> this is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, together we are PM Artist Studio. Okay, that's seriously going to be Oh, that was crazy. Yeah. There we go. It's either pens or phone. I'm going to go in with pens. Well, we have quite the crew here. Please do say hello in the chat so I can say hello back. If you do not say hello in the chat, I do not know that you're here. We're still okay with you hanging out and just, you know, being you and, you know, hanging out in the background. We are totally fine with that. We highly encourage that if that is your comfort level of, of participation. Please do give those thumbs the upsies, though. That can be anonymous. It's totally fine. Totally yeah. fine. All right, but do give those thumbs up. It's very important here in the beginning of the stream because it lets everybody know, hey, something fun's happening over here. You might want to be here too. We've got Ann Lover. We've got Art Curious by MNW. That's Miriam. Vente is here. We have Carrie, Griffiths, Colleen, Deb, C, Dorothy, Estella, Effie, Fran on the Edge, Griffin Shield. That's Rhonda, Hawaiian Brat. We just call her Brat. Jody Wright, Joni, Julie Torrens, Huta, Huta, yeah, Huta. Ah, oh, see, sorry, Huta. My brain just, it, it goes there. Kathy, Kimberly, Linda, Lisa, Liz, Marianne, Marianne, we got two Mariannes. Maxine, Mitzi, hello, Mitzi. Nightbot's here, remember, she's the one who'll drop information, usually little, um, you know, uh, links to things like makers and you know, this, that, the other. Prompted by our lovely moderators. Pinka's here. Rachel, Reverend Sonia, Ricky Nordmeyer. Stitching Art, that's Paula. Susan Dufresne, Susie Allen, Sylvia Torres. Hello, I think Susie and Sylvia may be, both be new. Mystic Road. Um, uh, Mystic Road. Ooh. Tanya. I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure it's Tanya. Let me know, Mystic Road. Um, let's see, Rachel Burby, Sherry, Sherry just popped in there, all right, Texture Junkies, that's Sharon, and then we've got Tina and Trish Coogan, if Trish is here, that means Evie's here, she sure is, <laughs> I think, Diane, did you sneak in, I think you did, because I did say hello to Debsy, if I missed you, it wasn't on purpose, it's just simply that, you know, it came in after my, my thing populates, um, and hopefully I'll catch you in the chat, um, Let's see. And Kellyanne. Hello, hello. Welcome. Got some newbies up in here. I love it. Lori, hello. Lori, it's been a while. So glad you came back. Um, all right, let's talk about announcements. Because we've got lots of things. It's the new year. It's the beginning of the month. And so we have all kinds of things. Um, so Judy P., uh, I don't know if she's here. She's sick. Poor her and Lisa now. I'll tell you, this sickness just so over it. Um, she is going to be announcing in Makers a new way that they're going to be doing, or we are going to be picking the monthly header. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, I think we're just going to drop the hashtag thing and we're just going to pick it from all of your lovely, awesome things that you guys submit just in the group. Now, if you don't want to be in it, I would say, you know, just please don't include me, but I, I don't know why you wouldn't want to be included. But who knows? Uh, swaps are in full effect. I think, um, Joni, please let me know. I didn't look at uh, when the, I would assume at the end of this week or maybe end of next week is the cutoff for the swap for this month for ATCs, right? Did you sign up? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. It, it was literally like two days ago. 
Well, then I didn't because I didn't even know about it. Okay, it's the beginning I, of the I, month. Yeah, I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm I apologize. I just have. I've had to use my energies where they were most mm -hmm. needed, and and I haven't been. Hello, Carol. Welcome. Welcome in. Very good about checking in. <laughs> one thing at a time. One thing at a time. All right, so we got swaps. We got the color challenge, um, and that is being taken on by Paula and Carrie Griffiths. Watch out for Carrie Griffiths. It, he'll have a video, but the colors are teal and purple. Very, there are a lot of people very excited about that. I also like those colors a lot. Um, so if you want to partake in that, um, that information is, it, and most of these things that have to do with the activities, our, our activities council people, um, are going to be listed up in the featured area and I usually try to you know make sure that they kind of rotate out and you know everybody kind of has their chance at the beginning of it and then um, coming up we have the makers creative collab now the the youtubers have already been I think signed up and all of that I don't know that we're taking on any new YouTube channels but you'll want to either get with me or with Sharon um, for that that's texture junkies if you have a channel and you're interested. But I would say that you would have to probably sign up for next month. Because usually you want to kind of have a little bit. Especially if you're new. You just want to have a little time to get acquainted with the process. It's not terribly difficult. But there's, there's some things. Um, but then those videos will drop on the 21st of January. And I think that's about it. Keep Again, keep an eye out in Makers. Those of you that are you know, team non-YouTubers, um, watch for Lisa Mingus's posts over there. She'll kind of let you know. But this month's theme is the new year. I see, I create. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, there's there's the announcements. I think I did pretty good. I made a list. <laughs> Actually, what I did is I took Anne's awesome um, post and, and I copied and pasted it. Also, you can ask Anne about anything. She knows pretty much everything that's going on. She probably knows things more than I do, which is fantastic. I love this. This makes me happy. Okay. Cool. You're up. What are you doing? Well, first of all, I want to talk about all of my wonderful, wonderful gifts. Oh, yes. Let me go top side. Miriam sent us the most wonderful oh, my packages. Goodness. I mean, we had such fun. <laughs> Because we've just been on the couch, like it's been sad. So it, sad it is, and I handed it. I handed the. Okay, all of the stars, everybody's star is on the tree. Uh huh. All of the gnomes are on the tree. We're not big on taking our tree down. You Last just... year we managed to do so right before Izzy's birthday in May. Uh huh. Be, and we bribed her. Yeah, I told her she couldn't have her birthday party if that darn tree was still up. <laughs> So she, <laughs> she relinquished and said, oh, okay. Yeah, so my guess is that, you know, it might be that kind of situation again, but hopefully but, we can. And I did, I want, she wanted to put this on there, and I said, well, we will, as soon as, as soon as I share it with everyone, because look at this little angel. Oh, my goodness. Is she not just absolutely oh. wonderful? Look at this. She's amazing. I just, abs uh, well... And I've got to put a little tag on it someplace, you know, from Miriam, so that when we get these out every year, just look at those little wings. I mean, oh, they're so cute. So cute. Okay, so this little crochet job, and I, I should have brought at least one of the gnomes up because they were, Izzy loved them. Oh, she loves She them. played with them. And, she moves and, them around the tree. And now she wants to know how to braid, and we tried it yesterday, and oh my goodness, it was terrible. Um, we've got to come up with some, I, t I think we need bigger things for her to braid. This little fiddly I, stuff is, it, yeah. yeah. once you said that, I was like, oh yeah, that makes way more sense. We'll just get some rope. Yeah. That, I'm serious. <laughs> Tie it off to the stairs and yeah. let her. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like, these little bands are what held this all together. But look at my socks. Aren't those cool? Aren't they wonderful? I haven't put them on yet um, because I, I wanted to share yeah, them today. Before they but, got all furred up being walked uh, yes, around. Yes, and, and have gross things on the bottom like, you know, Yupo yeah. and gummy bears. And 
Oh, Anne says large shoelaces are a good thing to braid with. They are, and I've got some of those somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you so much. I love this. Look at that little cuff there. Oh, just so great. I, I really want to figure out how to do that. <laughs> and here's this little, little, little booklet with little lovely little beads. And just little. Miriam sends the greatest stuff. pieces and parts. Great stuff. Izzy was very fascinated with this as well. And I just, this is just a little, you know, it's just a little um, sampler of <laughs> textures. Hair? Look at that. Doesn't that just look like feathers? Mm -hmm. Hi, Diane. But all of those. And then look at this little, around the edge. And it says, a blank canvas to fill as you wish, 2023. But I just, I absolutely, I, I just love this. Little closure and everything. It took me a minute to figure it out. Ooh, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And then a whole bag of cool hand. Look at these little sunshines. That's so cute. And little little spidery suns. I'm sure. I'm surprised Izzy didn't try to snatch that up. Well, I really didn't show her this uh -huh. because I didn't want to fuss with her. <laughs> yes, yeah, she she would have because she's into beading. Yes. She got various sundry. Oh, look at that beautiful paper. Now, I'm going to take that out because now that I've got that, but look at this. Ooh, see, I didn't see all ooh, of this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. That's Isn't fun that together. nifty? And then this paper, I'm going to put that aside here. And I'm not, I think I lost a butterfly here. Mm, one got knocked yeah. off. Yeah. Well. I don't, I don't know hey, where... It, it traveled well, though, otherwise. It really, honestly, did. I, I just need to figure out a good place for it or try to find the place hey, where Martha. it glued back on. But look at this. Isn't this wonderful? That is such a beautiful print. Oh, hello, Seat of and Star And it says, a card for you and something else by Art Curious. By and, of course, it's Miriam. Mm-hmm. I'm finally, it says I'm finally home. Isn't that precious? I just love that so, so much. And see if Star, uh, let us know what your name, or if you want us to call you by your name. We will. Okay, and now I need, down. these are papers by Miriam also. And I'm, <coughs> pardon me. I'm going to take these and I'm going to put these into my new little book. I just have... I wanted to share them with everyone before I, I did that. But aren't these gorgeous? And Miriam, they're just so your colors. I just, I, I yeah. love it. <laughs> I love it when people send me things that, you know, I might not necessarily do. And use these. And I don't know what that little thing is, but I really like that little stamp and that big circle there. You know that I love circles. So all of these are going to go in my book, either the one that Anne made me hey, Lori. or the one that um, Jacqueline, who made the other little book. Why are you putting me on the spot? My, my brain wasn't there and now I'm like, oh, well, uh, yes, I believe Jacqueline. I, I felt she's... pretty confident in saying that because, and here's the thing. When you send me these little books, if you would sign them, put your name on them, it, it that would just be super heavy. wonderful. Oh, look at that. Look at how wonderful that is. Now, you might not think that that's very interesting, but that might be the exact piece that I needed. Okay. I just thought she could find it when she needs it. Box. And I, I save, save this because I just, I love all I these little, little things here. I should have covered that up. Yeah. That was rookie. But this is is Israeli post and then she has little and I, I'm everybody knows our address, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. And it says fairy dust. A little sticker that says fairy dust. And this is just so cool with the It's a great package. It, it it's just a wonderful package. And we have some more wonderful things in here. Pieces and parts. 
<coughs> All right, no worries, Sharon. And here's my little ATC. Look at that butterfly. And this is emb embossed with, it's either, I don't know. It could just be a paint through a thing. But I love, I love the writing. Thank you, Miriam. Oh, Izzy just, and she loved the, the little froggy, you know, we think it's a bookmark. Okay, it, okay, yes. I thought it was a snake. Okay, she wore it, she wore it like this out of her. Uh-huh, sure. And she walk, walked around and just <laughs> laughed. She loved it, loved the love, love, love. Well, well, I took it away from her before she mucked it all up. Oh, or loses it. It's, yeah, you know. but it's, it's a squished frog. See his little squished paws and everything, and he's croaking as... And his eyes are all wonky. And that is <laughs> wonderful. And another absolutely fabulous piece of paper with little. Uh, oh, it wasn't Jacqueline. It was. She sent the blank books to Izzy, but she, not, okay. not one for you. Okay. So I don't who, know what who you're sent thinking. me the cereal box one. Oh, the cereal box pages. Yeah, that was Maxine. Maxine. Well, Maxine, I've been using that, and I, I'm going to get it out here in a minute and show you. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? Learning. Okay, where's my other little card? I've got to keep these together because we have a... Have a, a oh, yeah, I need to put that in the, in the thing. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? I love that. Oh, I will use this in my... Oh, good. I did save one out. I, knew, I thought I did. Aren't they beautiful? And this one is to me. It goes on the tree. But they're not hold nice. Hold it in your hand and then hold it under the, you know, technology. There we go. Sparkling thread. Mm -hmm. Of course that would be me. And this adorable card, which I'm sure is a print. She didn't put that on there. Oh, no. This one, this little card is from Joan. Miron. And it's to Izzy. And I want you to see these little. This is Merlin Monarch. This is so, these are so cute. This is Uper Mospuro. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> this is Becky Beetle. Izzy just she she just said. Oh, she. Looks I so I had to take these away from her before she, and she was kind of. Her, this is Linda Ladybug. And it's funny because she's been incorporating some of these into her drawings. Hyper guy. <laughs> oh, it's mo it's molding paste on the ATC. Oh, uh -huh. this is Cindy Synthopede. Oh, look at that beautiful little flower. Oh, and this is Bert. Hello, Bert. Hello, Bert. Oh, anyway, thank you, Joan. These are, are treasures and, and shall be treasured. Uh, the reason that some of these are kind of together here is because they came at the same time. Yes. And I'm sorry that that got mixed in with, with um, Darium stuff, but it, it, it arrived at the same time. I'm keeping this because I, I think some of that I might use. Well, no, I brought Izzy's thing down because I had that stack of her stuff. That's how it got mixed okay. in. Okay. Yeah. It's time for joy. Look at that little llama. And then here's <laughs> it, Izzy's llama. It says, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas to Izzy from Miriam. She loves and you, llamas. One of her favorite stuffed toys is a llama. Llama. I will tell you, though, um, I, I think that the, the llama has kind of been booted since she got the squishmallows from Molly. <laughs> and let me tell you, Molly, she loves the squishmallows. Loves them. Loves them. And, and we are seriously going to get this framed. It's oh, I, just cat when, is when amazing. I, I, I would be able to make it to and you know what, my friend one Christy, of those framing places. She, she has a cross-eyed cat named Cece, which just makes me laugh. <laughs> I like cross-eyed <coughs> Cece, but <coughs> makes me laugh. Such cool envelopes with such cool stuff on yeah, them. Yeah, you guys spoil us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Izzy now asks... <laughs> hey, Eddie. 
is any did I get any packages today? I'm like, Christmas is over. I said Christmas is over, baby. Time for you to go to school. It's time for us to get some stuff done. Okay, Mariah, I'm gonna hand you those to put in our book. And look at this beautiful print. I mean, even the cardboard's cool. Look at this cardboard. I have some cool cardboard. We don't have cardboard like this. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, thanks, oh good stuff. Okay, well, I told Mariah, I said, you know, it is Tweakers Tuesday. And I'm, I'm going to bust out some stencils because... We've um, got a lot of new stuff. We've got a lot of new stuff, and I'm, you know, the <coughs> horrible, the sickness stuff. It's really messed up a whole lot of stuff. It's put and, us behind uh, about two weeks. For sure. All in all. Yes. And then... You know, it's hard to be motivated. I, w I was just so tired. I mean, it was really, you know, I, I got out of bed. That was as good as it got. Yeah. And I did sit and fiddle around with things. All right, I want to go ahead and I want to um, show the stencils because I'm going to keep some of them out and actually use them. I don't know if I'm going to get to everything that I want to get to today to show you my tweaks. So I need to move along. Alright, Carla says get Izzy a Kumi Chemo disc. What is what, it what for? Is it, yeah, what's that for, Carla? I'm assuming maybe for um, braiding. Maybe ah. some kind of something. Hey, Renny. Happy New Year. I was just going to use rope. She'd be happy with that. She loves okay, I really do need to organize my stencils something fierce. I've just got a pile of them over here. And they just keep piling up and we mm -hmm. all know where that goes. <laughs> I did manage to get some into my book. Now I'll tell you what I did. I, some of my stencils I had soaked because, remember I used them for... That's about oh, one. Yeah. So then she's all poo poo about all that because she couldn't quite get some of them clean. But it turns out that some of them are like original. Like even when we were trying things in mylar, or not mylar, what am I saying? Yeah. Brain work. Acetate. Yeah, here's, here it is. I finally got it cleaned off. I don't know what that stuff is. Yeah, it's that. Oh man, I spent hours on this, but I did get some really cool. Um, pull-offs like Anne had in her book. See, and I don't have this particular this is the original to um, Wonky Net. But I don't, we, we don't sell this one. <laughs> so, anyway, well I finally got that booger cleaned off. Yeah, you did. Some of them I gave up on. I was just, my little fingers because that's what I would do when I could, when I could sit in a chair Long enough without, you know, falling asleep that I would mess with my, and, and try to get those stencils off. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the new, here's a new one. <laughs> here's a new one. Uh, Deb C. says that uh, Mr. Carey has a stencil organizing video. <laughs> She's just saying. Yeah, I know he does, but. I'm very impressed his, with his video. I, I, I video. love the, his, his method and whatever, but at this point I have. She, she doesn't operate that way. I have this many in files. It would take me weeks to get them into another filing system. And I have to consider my time. I'm not I'm not considering that to be worthy of my time. She wouldn't stick to it anyway. I wouldn't. So it, it's just, you know. <laughs> I, I love that he's doing that and he started soon enough that it's going to be, um, it's going to work. And, and he's disciplined enough to keep to it. Yes. And I'm not. She's not. Okay, this is the innards. I love that. Outers. I'm sorry, outers. Yeah, these are the You ain't innards. getting the inners on these. They're too little. And here's some little cute little boogers. Oh, I know. I know, Fran. And I don't, Mariah, can you tell us about oh, yeah. these? Okay, so Judy P. Um, I don't... Did, let me see. Was she here? I don't think... I don't think I saw her. Um... 
she's like I said, she's not feeling well. But Judy P is one of our latest designers. Um, I think I just have one more that you guys have not met yet um, uh, of our design team people. <laughs> um, but one. these are from Judy P. These are the magic carpets. You can buy them in. Um, I have them separated in two sets of three, or you could buy all six. All righty. And I'm just going to put a link. Um, now, these little squirrels and our nuts and all that, that's our friend Darcy. <coughs> <coughs> she designed these. They're just and so they cute. come with their own nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they do come with their own nuts. I have these separated out. So you can have the one sitting squirrel. Okay. And an oak leaf. Well, no, you get the two standing and then oak leaf and two acorns. Uh, or this, So this is the stand. Is this the standing that, one? Okay, the two standing ones are together. This one and this one. Uh-huh. Okay. Along with, an a with the two acorns and a leaf. Okay, now what I know about stencils is this. I like stencils that have multiple uses. So if I didn't necessarily want the squirrel, but I wanted this part over here, look at that. That's wonderful. You could just use that in and of itself. But this is such a cute little guy. Or you can order all of it together, and you get all the nuts, all the leaves. <laughs> oh. The little swirly gigs. <laughs> Don't always trust the way she's putting it down that it's going to be the set. I no, have them stacked I don't know properly, that. but she's And I don't even, these are things that, I don't know, swirly gigs and yeah. and whatever this little thing is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Look at that. This is very nice. I like it a lot. And, little... and then you've got this little squirrel coming in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Okay, what do we have here? All right, these are also designed by Judy P. And this is called India Nights. And then I was thinking about, I probably should have called that one like India Day and then the other one India Nights, but I didn't do that. It's volume one and volume two. <laughs> Sometimes it's just best to be. And here's these little arabesques. Yes, and you get the inner, outer, and all that business but then you get one big one one small one I just thought that, that would kind of cover people like P that work on the little little plates and then also still be able to give you something for those of you that work on larger plates hey Chris there we go oh good call Julie all right well if we um if we sit here at a hundred um, we, we will do a giveaway here in a little bit. Or maybe I'll just do one at the end. No matter what, I will do a giveaway at the end of the stream today. No matter what. Since we've been away and you guys are so lovely. Come back and hang out and all that business. Those of you that are coming in, welcome. Please do let us know that you're here. We'd love to say hello to you in the chat. If you do not want to, that's totally fine too. Just hang out. We're, we're totally fine with that. And if you would, though, go ahead and give those thumbsy upsies. We very much appreciate it. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, I wasn't. I was gonna wait until January twenty second, which is the Chinese New Year. But um, I just, you know, it's like I, I would. P already wanted these. We kind of already shown it. These are from Paula Keen. And these are the rabbits. Didn't she remember the cool card? Now you get the big moon with the little rabbits. You get a little moon with the big rabbits. Or you can Where buy them all together. It? Oh, it's stuck to the horns. Or the ears, sorry. <laughs> Some of those. Um. <laughs> I'm just trying to put them down here so you get an idea of what they look like. Okay. Which I guess, you know, you could go and look on... Because it's already in the shop, right? Yes, everything is already in the shop. Scoot them around here. Scoot them around. Come on, bunny. <laughs> and I call them rabbit hairs. <laughs> Sit, jump, head, 
and moon. <laughs> <coughs> I really like these guys. I, yeah. I, I like them a lot. I, 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 and Paula's, I, I mean, she, she, she's one of the most prolific designers. I, I mean, I, I, I got stuff for years <laughs> for, from Paul. These are just all the outer bits. Outer bits. Good outer bits. See, look at that. That I, I, can, I can do things with that. You guys know that anytime we can, we do send them along with the um, with the stencils. I don't know that if you just ordered one set of the large, I, I'll cut it up. But just know that there's going to be some cuts in, in it because two cut on a sheet. So that is what it is. Okay, I'm going to set that up there. <coughs> Probably fall off on my head. This is All another right. one from Judy P. These are the coins. Um, they come in a set of six, and you can either get them in the small or the large or order them together as a set, small and large. And they're fun, and, I, and I, I'm pretty sure P will probably have a good time. You know I love circle stuff. Yeah. Oh, Trish was born in the year of, of the rabbit, so she needs she, she really needs these. <laughs> the, the rabbits. Okay, I'm assuming these are just different sizes of the same thing. So if I show all of these. Yeah. And there's an inch difference. Um, I, I think the, the large ones are three and three quarters, and the small ones are two and three quarter. Okay. Yeah. So there's this your... is the big set. Yep. This is the. There's two small sets. There. Two small sets. Which I probably was silly for me to give you two because you'll probably end up using them and then no I won't <laughs> well I'm not saying that because sometimes what I like to do uh, with no. these uh -huh. is I like to wait till they get a really good patina and then glue them down on something mm -hmm. because they're a beautiful size for that the bigger ones not so much but well, you know those of you that you know do the bigger stuff this and then I'm hoping next week um, probably not this Sunday, but next Sunday, we will have Valentine's type stuff. Because quite a few people have turned in some Valentine's designs. And some of them are super, super, super cute. Some of them are, you know, could be used anytime. Um, so. Love that. Yeah. I, I like that. That multi, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to pull some. Been here for two weeks. <laughs> no, this one really hasn't. I think I just did this one the other day. But, um, yeah. I I really, I need to condition my place, and I meant to get to that. But, um, ah! If you yell at it, it'll scare it onto the paper. <laughs> well, what happened here was I kind of missed the edge of my paper. Mm-hmm. Welcome, welcome. There we go. Oh, Heather's birthday is Valentine's Day. Well, happy Aww. birthday. Aww. Mainly just did this to get this plate cleaned off because it had a bunch of mucky muck stuff on it. But look at that. Isn't that cool? What were those that actually goes from? like this. What? Oh, those are some of the edges from... Um, the portcullis. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that, I think that that looks very, I might use some of um, overprint using some of Judy's Aww. Indian, the India, 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 whatever's. But I think that that's really. Well, happy birthday, Dorothy. Very nice. Okay, put that over there. And here's another one, just a little. Ooh. Remember that? I don't. <laughs> well, that's because it was so damn long ago. That... <laughs> I don't remember that. <clears throat> it, it was last year. <laughs> Try to be funny, y'all. <laughs> I needed the laugh track. <laughs> yeah, really. 
And I'll get that bot thing to find us some <laughs> laugh tracks. Okay, remember this was some stuff that was left on there. This the little swishy marks. And then I just did that other thing on top of it. And pulled the whole thing with uh, pink. It's kind of nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it pretty good. And I think this turned out absolutely wonderful. I mean, it, it was a series of mishaps one after the another. Remember the paint did funky things on me. Why am I not remembering any of these? I mean, I, don't, I normally remember well, things. part of the reason that you don't remember them is because they don't look anything like they did when yeah, you do that. When, um, mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know, I might have just mess, been messing around with this on my own. and But it was a while ago. Uh, Wendy, as Ann um, mentioned there in the chat, uh, if, you, if you aren't part of Makers, we would love you to be a part of Makers. And um, that is the makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. That's where we all hang out. Many of these lovely folks that are here in the chat also are members. There's a link to the Facebook group there in the chat that Nightbot dropped in. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely do quite a bit of gel printing over there, but all sorts of things. I mean, we really are a mixed media group. Um, we stress that. And I will be dragging in and in, in showing you some things that I, I worked on that you've seen. All right, now this was pulled with this. Um, I think you were channeling some of Miriam because this is a very. I know. Isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. This was pulled. This is such a good color. If you do not have this color, you need it. Which one is it? Permanent. It's the Amsterdam 567. Permanent red violet. 567. Um, transparent. Oh, Susan thinks you should put some rabbits over that. Put some rabbits over this? Could be a, well, that's a thought. Really good Easter card. That's a thought. I might have one up here leaping through the air. Yeah, one of those. With the moon. I like that. Leaping bunnies. Leaping bunnies. Okay. Now I'm going to use that one in here in a minute. And this one, my goodness, I can tell you the last time you saw this. Jeez. I know it was ages ago because remember I hadn't put anything on top of it. Mm -hmm. I put down the layer of that semi-transparent gold. This stuff here. Oh, and Susan says, and eggs. And <laughs> we've got eggs. We've got eggs. Got some bad ones too. <laughs> we do. Now if she can find her eggs. Yeah, they're, they're, I think they're right here somewhere in this mess. Hey, Nisi. All right, this got sent to Miriam, and I don't know if Miriam has received her stuff yet. Miriam? Miriam, did you get it yet? I it should be shortly. apologize, and I didn't send anything nearly as interesting as the stuff that you sent. But, you know, considering I was lucky to get it down to Mariah. Uh-uh. It's been rough. <laughs> it's been very rough around here. And I'll do better in the future. Poor Vans now. We got him quarantined. I don't even let anybody, you know, just go up wiping her. I go behind him wiping disinfectant. <laughs> but you can see how red my hands are. It's because I've been washing them in there. Welcome. Using Clorox cloths that my daughter provided for me and encourages me to use. I know. It's like when she comes home from school, we should run her through the, you know, like... A disinfectant. We should have a little light booth, you know, like they do. Yeah, with the UV lights in there. <laughs> with <laughs> those infectious whatever. disease places. you got to be... Go through the disinfectant process. But look at that. Isn't that wonderful? It is. I, I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> I 
Okay. Oh so, yeah, man, we're we're staying we're staying strong. That's very exciting. You guys do not let me forget. Like before we before we sign off today, <coughs> we will do a, a giveaway. Absolutely. We will. All right. Now I'm going to I'm going to show you. Well, I, this one is. I I went ahead and pulled this one. Remember this was one that had these little things oh left God, over? stencil butter. Stencil butter. But isn't that cool looking? I mean, it all came off yeah. finally. But I mean, it was down on the plate forever and ever. I love that one. That was fun. Okay, you've seen this one. You've seen this one. Pretty sure you've seen that one. Okay, now I worked on this one. I'm going to tell you what I did. Where's my pointer here? Okay. So this color here, I took and I brought in here with colored pencils. And really, it was, it was there, but I just intensified it. And remember, I put this piece on so that we could repeat some of the colors that were over here. Mm -hmm. Also, to sort of integrate this turquoise into other parts, I kind of bled it in here with colored pencil took it around here. Over here, I took some of that uh, dark violet, re red violet. Colored pencil. Colored pencil and made that swish around there and kind of whisked it, whisked it in down here also. Just to integrate the color into different places. Okay, now this one, you will remember had this one, this was the addition out here in the middle, it was very white. So what I did is I went back in and I added yellow. I added some um, of this sort of grayish purple to just make it feel like that it was a little bit more, that it wasn't just plopped down there. Right. Okay. Okay, so we have a question. Yes. Uh, sea of Stars, which is Ashley. She says, I just started my mixed media journey and started my first art journal. How do you keep the pages from sticking together <laughs> when you use acrylic paint? I would highly suggest having um, either like a waxed paper. Uh, save your cereal box innards. Save your cereal box. The, the bags? Yeah. They, they're very non-sticky. Like, they're fantastic. Cut those up. And then that way you have a slip sheet in between, and then you can kind of, you know, work as you go. And, and, it's and you stick. just need one to separate mm -hmm. both sides. So it's kind of a win-win. Yes, and, and plus you're being Parchment very paper. kind to the environment. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I, I really, I love about that is after a while, once you're acrylic, it takes, I don't know how many weeks to actually for it to dry. Well, and then depending on, you know, where you live. and Yeah, and, it's heat, it, yeah, cold, whatever. Yeah, they do well with cold heat, not so much. Yeah, they get sticky again. All right, I did absolutely nothing to this. I think it's absolutely wonderful, just like it is. And remember this; these have had now. They've been in three different streams, I think. I think because yes, P has call, she collaged them, then did well gel printed and then collaged. And some of the cool papers and yeah. whatnot. And then I went over this with this down here on the bottom. Then this, I did some spray stuff on them. Mariah flicked them. And then we flicked them. And this one's been flicked. Them. This one's been flicked. And all I did on this was add a little more intensity of the yellow in the here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Just to pull the eye around. But I thought it was fine just like it was. Now, I'm not sure that this is finished yet. But I think it's a whole lot better than it was. Mm -hmm. It's like more it. interesting. I brought in the blues, up, kind of amped up the reds, and, you know, just pulled them around in different places so that the eye goes with it. I also made sure there weren't any white edges. Thank you. Yes. Basically, all I did to this was add <coughs> a little bit of colored pencil in a really, that really dark um, indigo blue. To kind of make those really... Now remember, these are the paint peel parts. The, the and yeah, Ant sent me. Yeah, that was from the last stream we did before we... Yeah, absolutely croaked. <laughs> Maybe we didn't croak. All right, this I absolutely... I probably should wipe it down because I, this is one of the ones I worked on in when I was really sick. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, 
So remember I had, this was a square that was just added on there. I thought it looked plopped down and I've been working on changing the color. I've been adding more to the edges here. I finally decided I wanted this to be sort of eating the leaf. Here, bring us more towards the middle there. Oh, lucky there. And did little, um, you know, liney things all over the place here. Knocked some areas back and brought some areas forward. So basically that's what I'm doing. And this one, I'm still working on this one, but I love the colors on this. And what I may do is I may just take and make this into two. Because I think it's it has enough interest to be. I'm just cut it down the middle and it'll be two. Okay, so you remember the last time, this is a piece of um, the modeling paste tissue paper. Yes. And then this is a piece, this, 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 and this, and this, and this. And really all I did was come in and hit some places with a little bit more of this sort of mulberry color. Then I came in with the fine text and colored them with um, that kind of peachy. Here, hold that more towards the middle. There you go. Down a little bit. There you go. Maybe give us a little. And then Mariah, she, you know, did her Spray spattering. 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 Okay, I've got to show you my, and I have, I have Anne's here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. But I, I, I took some stuff out of it and put some other stuff back into it. And it basically have? what this is now is just kind of a repository for stencils that can be used to glue, glue down. This is a project that I'm working on here. I've got the shark. And it's just kind of poo-poo with me. It's like, <coughs> I need to I need the double-sided tape since you're not going to do the rest of my book for me. Okay, I've got an extra page there. So she, she, she did an the rest extra of her book, page. I guess. Did you do them all? Uh, no, I, I, I just work on them a little bit at a time. It's really frustrating for me to work with that double-sided tape. I get angry. And this one is, okay, so I messed up and didn't do the right side of the tape tape so I had to tape this one together so it's like two pockets but I thought that would be that was fine because I I'm like okay now here's the stuff that I peeled off of that I've already lost it again um, the one that I told you about isn't that cool looking and then I took these little packets and got this idea from Ann because she made little packets to put in hers and so I've got little pieces that are smaller. Yeah, so save all those little envelopes and things that we send to y'all. Because they come in really, really handy. And here's another one that I got some stuff off of. Most of the ones that, and see this, it just didn't come clean, so it's going to become a addition to something. I don't know why you needed to clean that one. I mean, it's not like the orifices were getting... Yeah, this is true. Okay, these are my watercolor things that I am working on. You'll see more of those as we progress along. And um, uh, hey, I don't know, Deb. We need Maxine. You got to give us your, your your info on how you're getting those cereal bags so flat. I don't know. Are they a special kind of cereal? What kind of cereal are you eating, Maxine? <laughs> <laughs> I can put in an affiliate link. Quarry <laughs> minds want to know. Anyway. Is it good for us? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Put that back there. Hey, Gretchen. Happy okay, New these Year. are all pretty much finished. And what I think, I, Mariah said, well, what are we going to do with them? Well, I don't really know. Uh, put them in the shop at some point. She's going to make me order some more custom freaking um, mats. <laughs> or I may just go ahead and cut this up because I'm not sure... If I could get two out of this. I see this. Well, we could, you know what? What we should do is you could cut it in two um, and then we can mount it and it could be like a special postcard. Oh, okay. 
Oh, on her. yeah, on something. Yeah. On yeah. Something. I think that's a, that's a real winner. All right, I want to talk about this. Okay, so Mariah sprayed this area here and sprayed this and this and this and this. But what I did is I came back in with the um, Fine Tech Pink and added that. I also added with colored pencils and pulled out this leaf pattern here so that it wasn't just chunk because it was kind of chunky there. And really, I... I I'm very proud of that blending job there. I, I want <laughs> everybody to really appreciate. We'll hold it up into the technology the blending, so can really, you know. Blending job there. That is, I like. Now, did you do the little scribble work that's kind of happening over there, or is that? Yes, I did. This little stuff up here. Uh -huh, I like it. Yeah. And I noticed you had some practice stuff. I I, here. I have been practicing that, and that's kind of my new little mark making um, um, thing because I did a lot of it on this one. can see these areas here mm -hmm. then I did some here did some up there well if you, you got to move it more towards <laughs> you stop me can you see it now if you want them to see the one corner you got to bring that to that underneath over you're getting there oh there we go there, that's it? Uh-huh. Well, it isn't even directly underneath it. Well, no, because you were in the corner, remember? Oh, yeah. not really. No. All right, so. Oh, Maxine says, so you cut the bottom open of the bag, fold it in half, use a bone, bone folder on the seam, and put weight on them for a bit. Good job, Maxine. Well, I'll tell you what, that... Is brilliant because number one it's it's the re I like it is because it's it's stronger than wax paper yeah and it, it's heavier than saran wrap or something oh and did she say what kind of cereal <laughs> <laughs> I know Dane was talking about Captain Crunch but that ain't coming into this house <laughs> uh -uh. <coughs> maybe already has a foot candy problem <laughs> okay I don't know if you remember what this looked like the last time that we worked on it but it was one that I did and I immediately regretted my decision which it had a white area around the edge and I just I left this corner down here to help you remember but that was all the way around and I just I don't know it wasn't there was no feeling of integration at all so I just started messing with it, and I was using that, where is that, this pen that I have a love-hate relationship with, it, it's the, um, Uniball Signo, Uniball Signo, UM-153, I, I know, I didn't recognize it either, nobody recognizes it, we don't know what you're talking about, you don't, I don't, well, with the, with, with the artwork, we, we don't know, we don't remember what it, what it looked like, yeah, well, it was just a bunch, it was leaves, and then I had the one that was a print I did from Brad's, um, his laser stamp thing. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I, yeah. You know, and it was, it was kind of, I don't know, it was poopy. And I, I didn't, I didn't particularly like it. So what I've been doing is I've been coming in. And I decided I wanted my focal point to be the flower. But I didn't really like how it looked, so I went ahead and basically I've just drawn some lines out here. And what's cool about this is you can come in and you can you can blur those lines <coughs> once you've got them down anywhere you want mm -hmm. them. So I saved this corner down here because I've got my little... Can you pull that into the frame? I'm sure people would actually like to see which colors you're choosing and stuff. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm using, this is um, uh, Naples Yellow. <laughs> Here, let me, let me just do it for you. I saved all of these. 
And see, these are the ones that that pin place she sends you, these little little blobs of stuff. Yeah, little, little testers. Little Samples. testers. I need some of this Copenhagen. I, I mean, that that's a good one. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see what she has available. And yeah. Then, you know, because sometimes she runs out of certain colors. This so is it'll be Eugenia. But aren't these just the cutest little things? Lazy Eye. Bar steak? Bar stool? No, I don't, I don't know. Barstead. Barstead. Barstick. Torno. This is a really cool one because it's kind of, oh shoot, I just messed it up. It's kind of a, a purpley color. You can see when you mix it with... Um, Oh. Yeah, oh. kind of a charcoal -y. Yeah. And this is... Samba. Samba. I like this one, mm -hmm. too. And then I made this little thing here with little magnets to hold this in. Okay, so here's my Naples Yellow Reddish. Okay, that, and it's an opaque color. The next one to it is Sepia. Lamp Black. Prussian Blue. Sap green, magenta red, lemon yellow, and Indian yellow. All right. And you can see I'm really... I, Slide yeah. it down ever so slightly, just towards you, your, your um, palette. There you go. Perfect. Now, now I can see all the colors. So, okay. real quick, um, the ones in, in the... Um, what do you call those? Half pans. The little, little pans. Um, those are Renaissance which you can find on April store a little creative. The sparkly ones are from what is it? Nibs Nibs and Pens. Pens inks, nibs and pen. Ink, yes. She is also on Etsy. And she hand makes those colors. And most of them are sparkly, I, I think if not all. Yes, they have a metallic quality to mm -hmm. them. Okay, basically what I'm just doing here is I'm just kind of making... Let me find it. I, I, I do. I do. Let's see. Okay. Now, I will tell you right now, they're a bit pricey. But they last forever. And they're really... Now, do you see what I have did down here? I just took... And I can't remember what... But anyway, this... Blue is kind of bleeding a bit on me, which I've really, I've utilized to kind of make it. But that corner, I just got rid of that corner going, beep, 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 beep. neon lights, look at me, I'm down here in the corner. Okay, I just might need a tiny touch more there, and maybe just kind of smoosh it around a bit. Now, what I did out here, which, <clears throat> can you see it? Is that a good place for it? Yes. Lovely. All right. So, the other thing that I'm going to be doing, and see this really light here? I really, I like that really, really light. And what I'm going to try to do is m come in here. And I don't, it's it's not taking it, so I, I don't know what what's going on there. But we'll just leave that a bit and see if that, you know, anything happens there. All right, guys. All right, now what we did down here in this corner, I'm going to try to duplicate that. What I really like about these particular watercolors, you know, some of them, it takes forever for them to get so that you can paint with them. They just won't, 
And, um, ooh, that's way too bright. Okay, so. Okay, so there's April Shop and, and a link to her um, for the Renaissance watercolors. And then I will find, um, in fact, I'm going to copy that. Put that in our friends list. Okay. And the thing about watercolors is don't just work in one spot keep moving keep um you know whatever color you're using in one area take over and put it in someplace else right away okay this right here i don't really love that i would really like to have some blue out there so what we're going to try here and i don't know this may be a total bomb <laughs> I like that you're setting the bar low what is that? I like that you're setting the bar low yeah <laughs> well the thing is you know if that that particular color of blue isn't really what I wanted uh, I've got some more some different color here I've got some different color there But this area right here is just, well, I think it's just too much of, too much of the, the pinky color. Mm. It does start to get a, a bit much. It's yeah. not too sweet. Okay, now see, look what that's doing. That's, that's, that's really marvelous. All right, and then there's Jillian Shop, Nibs, Pens, and Ink. She's the one who hand makes the um, metallics. It looks like she has some new cool ones. Yeah, and you really, you know, you might have to wait because she goes in batches. And I think she's kind of a, a one-woman operation. Yeah. So, you know, don't, don't be all judgy and ugly if she can't get you what you want right away. She does custom, um, you, you can do custom requests, though, too. But you will have to wait. Yeah. But she sends you, like, a little mint and, and usually some tea with it, too. <laughs> so, you know. She does. <laughs> it's really sweet. Hey, and let them know that we sent you. They might send us some little freebies. <laughs> we like some freebies. But just remember, each one of these little things of paint is, is hand formulated. It's not, you know, something yeah. that comes out of a big giant. And um, Nibs, she has a great uh, Instagram. Uh, I don't know that she posts like all the time, but um, she posts some pretty cool stuff of like mixing the inks and or um, watercolors. And... Oh, really? Huh? Your hat's in the way. Well, I don't. Yeah, that Instagram stuff. I don't know anything about that. You're, you're leaning in a lot. Sorry. Is my head mm -hmm. blocking the... You're getting great views of that hat. Oh. Well. Doesn't she look cute today? I love this outfit. I like her in this color. Okay. Now I want to show you what I'm doing out here to make this this happen here with... Um... Now see, isn't that starting to look really cool? It is. <coughs> <coughs> Bring in the fine tech reds. You know, we started out with just the simple um, Calero fine techs. Fine tech, yeah. And so then we wanted to know, and they were the first ones were on sale, but then we had to pay regular price for the ones once we decided yeah, we really liked them. loved them. There is a difference between the Calero fine techs and the regular fine tech. Yes. And I'm try, trying to do what Mariah said about, you know, going along the edge here. I shamed her. Put my, she did. <laughs> Put my water in the, 
I usually just dig a hole out in the middle and you'll, you'll see that I dig out the others. Okay. I always like to have a little bit of a piece of paper mm. here to see because this stuff is, it can be really... Okay. Now, that's, that's going to be my go-to and I've already added it in some places. Hey, it was a great stream, Devin. It was really, um, I, I, I meant to tell you, you need to go over there and watch that replay. Um, Devin used the Bee Squad. And she did alcohol inks on the gel plate. But then she also integrated some um, pan pastels. I, I mean, they were just really fantastic. She did a fantastic job showing the, the, the process. I mean... And, and I know how nerve-wracking it is, especially, like, you know, when you really, you, you've got, and you had a lot going on. But she handled it so well and, like, just kept on course. And, and just, it was a great stream. It really was. And you showed those babies off really, really well. I loved Vivian. Vivian turned out fantastic. And I noticed you put her up on your, your, your armoire wall, so that was pretty cool. Sorry, I'm ooing and all on it. No, that's fine. I didn't have anything to say. Okay, now. There are some areas where I've got some, some gold going on here. <coughs> I don't know really where that came from. May have been Mariah's flicking. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. And... The other thing that I want to show you is if you if you lose your um, you lose your lines, you just wait for it to dry, and then you can come back in again, and bring it back in. Bring it back in. Because you 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 do in the process of trying to get around the edges here. You are going to lose some of your definition, but it is no big deal because you can just come back in and reestablish it. All right. Those are great little pins. They, they will drive you a little crazy every once in a while because they get kind of goobed up, but... You just keep the ball rolling, literally. Like, keep the little ball rolling in it. Yeah, and I, that's, see, over here where I always, I, right, that's you'll right see those my little, head. little things. Mm -hmm. Bring it a little lower. A little lower. There we go. Here, here. Perfect. See, just, just do that. Just keep do it that. going. <laughs> now, now and again. And try not to do it over areas that are wet, because that'll... Okay, well, I'm going to continue working on this, so I want you to look at it very carefully now. So well, the next time I ask you, you say, you remember oh, I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It looks cool. You got it lined up really well with the, the fine text above there. That was a really nice shot. I like that. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. All right, what's next? Okay, what's next? Well, what's next is we're going to make backgrounds. Oh, Diane says dip the ball in alcohol every now and then and it'll clean it up. Ah, I think I remember somebody saying that. Yeah. But, um, I, I do, I, I love those a, a lot. The fine texts are so much fun. And sometimes I just forget that I've got them. Well, they're usually over here in my drawer. That's one reason. Because <clears throat> you can't, you know, just be randomly digging. And I do have my little, um, I keep catching on here. Oh, it's that thing on the bottom. Oh, it's, it's this dippy. Well, so you can clip it. It's a very traveling. It's a traveler. It's a traveler. Yeah. But it's got this thing on the bottom, which is totally useless. I should just pull it off. It's for your thumb to hold it. You don't oh, hurt yourself. BS. There we go. <laughs> Fix it. Yeah, I, I don't want that. <laughs> I ain't traveling. <laughs> the only place it's going is over there to its <coughs> resting spot. Okay, so I've been working on this business with the lines 
And Mariah made a comment about that. It's a really fun way to kind of create some funky textures because if you just keep going over that and over it and over it again, you just come up with some really cool... And you get better at it. Kind of smoky, see? see that's dark purple. <laughs> Just in case. I love this French gray. Yeah. I don't really know exactly why they call it gray. Well, it's um, sort of. Here, here, it, here it is. Okay. I, I that's it right there. Now here is. This is. Cool gray. Cool gray. Thank you, God. <laughs> I was going Kopi. Kopi what? Kopi. How do we get Kopi Gray? Okay, I wait. Got Kopi Gray helps me cope with things. <laughs> so obviously not doing a very damn good job. <laughs> Just doing a crappy job, David. Anyway, you've got about nine million colors of gray. All right, this is cool gray, fifty percent. No worries, Ashley. Fifty percent. So there's tons of different kinds of grays, and I don't even usually use them. I usually make my own. Stay but. safe. And see, here's another one. Uh, warm gray, 50%. I don't know. Maybe there's 100% gray. And what was the other one called? French gray? Yeah. That's the kind of brownish one. Hmm. French are like, we need our own gray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm American. Oh, they need funny. an American gray. <laughs> yeah. All right. Enough of that quality roll messing around here. All right, so I want to use the new stencils. Oh, yeah, she's, in, she's in the UK. Um, nibs, that's one of the reasons it takes a little while for us to get up. Yeah, and but probably why they're kind of... But it's been a long time since we ordered those. And I really didn't think it was all that crazy expensive. I, I mean, you're going to pay shipping. Yeah. It, it is. Regardless. 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 I'm running over my pant leg here. Oh, Susan just ordered the 150 set of Prisma colored pencils. You won't. Oh. Be, you won't be disappointed. Oh, you won't. You won't. And some of those colors you'll probably never use. And I say never. Um, you won't use them right away, but eventually you will get mm -hmm. them out, and you will go, "Oh my gosh, that is so cool." Why haven't I been using that? All right. <laughs> so I got a lot of brayer offs, and I'm going to just do one at a time. Uh, I'm this thinking is a new one. Prussian, it's Prussian blue over this. Little leaves is what it's called. Yeah. I don't know. We could do purple. That might be good. It's not going to show up too much over the brown, but. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are getting, you guys are ordering from those guys. They're, they're really, they're, both of them are very Yes, we very had sweet. We had very good, very good. Uh, well, in April, she's she's she actually um even she donated. She donated for for one of our our, our giveaway. She's very sweet. Yes, she is. And you need to buy her watercolors because they're cool. And I love the little bitty. And and you have to. They don't come. They come in the little pans. And you have to order that little case. Yeah. But that, that little case, you can order, and I think it's like $9.99 oh, or here, something. Oh, here, I'll put, I'll put the link to the little travel kit if you want, if you guys are interested in that. Because that little travel case is just very wonderful. I'm trying a new plan here because I've got all these little pieces of paper over here. All right, I need to stop mumbling and... Get my business going here. Get down on it. Get down on it. <laughs> Smack. I can't remember. Um, oh, did I tell you all I did go to the doctor? I, I told everybody. Did you tell everybody? I did. He didn't put up with her crap either. I told him, he says, why haven't you been here before? I said, I don't like do doctors. And He's like, I don't want to hear that. He, he, I went off on me, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, like oh, this is the look at how cool that looks. It's a perfect doctor for, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, I don't not, I don't think we've got enough off of there yet. Let's see if we can get some more. Um, what did the doctor prescribe? Uh, gave her some awesome cough syrup, and he said that everybody in the household could use it. And they have been. <laughs> and they have been. But you only take five milliliters, which is just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like the other stuff, you know, we're taking like 20. And it was making me sick to my stomach. This did not make me sick to my stomach. Didn't make me drowsy and crazy. Now, I think I did Mariah a little bit, but. Yeah. Okay, well, that's kind of. That's getting there. All right, and there's a, a, a link to the little travel tent, the one that P has that, you know, she pulled the little thumb thing off of. Um, but it's a great little tent. I mean, it's 10 bucks. Yeah, and you got to have something to put them in. It's, and it, it, it's, um, you clip them in. Yeah. And it even comes with some empty little, you know, the little pan things that are empty. So if you yeah. had, uh... If you wanted to squirt your own, if you have the tubes of watercolors, you can squirt them in there. Yeah. Well, I hmm. wasn't exactly. Well, you're going paint to paint. Yeah, no. I know. I, I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be... Oh, oh my goodness, look at all that. Yes, that is Carrie's stencil. Oh, that's quite the... Big old wada. <laughs> Good stuff there, Maynard. Oh, that lid glows me. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Hello, Isabel. Oh, yes, and empty ones for mixing. But you see that peds kind of... You know, I, I, this is just really crappy. What, what, what? Um, you really shouldn't do this kind of stuff that I'm doing right now. <laughs> this, is, this is not recommended gel printing. I didn't know that there was necessarily a wrong. Ooh. Yeah, no. I've got to get some. I was thinking that this might be kind of a nifty one to do a little shadow technique with. I don't think you want to overdo it because it's already highly patterned, but. Well, that's ho hum. That's stupid, <laughs> stupid, darn metallic. Metallic. Thank you. Yes, I knew you were. You're going with it. All right. Well, let's just bring in the big guns. No. What are you gonna do? Don't I, I ruin was... it. Huh? Oh, okay. We'll just use plenty. That's I don't know. Cheap paint. High contrast. You got cold water. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be careful because I really have a very short runway space here. Now this is gonna totally obliterate that really nice. That's what I just said. Print. But maybe we can get some oozing through the cracks. <laughs> is that what we're going for? Oozing through the cracks. <laughs> yeah. She's a lot of practice, y'all. <laughs> Annotation. All righty, there we go. That's some good stuff. Now, what did we do here?
this one's a, you know, if you get this one, it's going to have a double-sided thing you get to choose. Do you guys like this? This. Um, do you want me to pull the camera out? I can have Pete pull it, pull it out. Isabel wants to zoom out a little bit, but we'll see what. You want me? Pull it up just a, a little bit. Yeah? That was a little bit. Was that a little bit? Okay, look how cool that's starting to look. That is, that looks, I, I like what you got going on there. All right, let's see. This is not very interesting. But let's go with this one that's a little bit darker. And let's put some... You know, I haven't used this stuff lately, and I've got to remember. Iridescent medium. <laughs> remember, it's clear. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Deb's like, ooh, look at those fancy, those fancy controls. I know, well, you know, the fancy camera doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have uh, an app or anything that I have. I mean, I don't need to look into it, but I can't control it from over here. Like I could with the other ones. Because it's a phone. Because the picture on it, though, far outweighs. Yeah, the negative side of. Yeah. Well, as you can see, I have plenty here. <laughs> What I'm really out of shape. Well, you really haven't been doing this for well over a week. Yeah, it's more like two. Ooh. Well, it's very, you know, subtle. Izzy's great, and we've kept her away. Like, she hasn't been able to see her friends or anything. Because we're like, but we're getting up, we're all getting better and then you can start to now she goes back to school tomorrow so there's that but yeah and I guarantee you uh, unless these children are mortally <laughs> ill their parents are sending them back to school <laughs> it's just like yeah, we, we're, <coughs> we're ready we're ready <laughs> And that's the other oh, reason I haven't been getting a lot done because if Mariah wants to do anything order wise or anything else, uh, somebody has to you know be available for the the child. Yes, because she can't be alone. <laughs> well, I think that's quite interesting. Need to um, that yellow is some very intense, intense yellow, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's going to pick up or not. Now, maybe while you're doing this, I can go ahead and, um, shall, shall we go ahead and do our stencil thing? I'll get it queued up. Yes. You got to think of a pass, the password. The password. <laughs> I love that you say that. That's funny. Well, I don't know. That this is pretty unimpressive, but yeah. I got an, I got, I got an idea. She's got ideas. I got ideas. <laughs> I have them. Okay, what am I, where am I going? Oh, yes, night bot. All right, let's take some of this really pretty blue, which I have a whole bunch of, because remember, the kind person who sent me multiple bottles of this. And it has a tendency to do a bit of crazing, which I kind of like. Mm hmm Alright, 
what should our, um, let's just do New Year. Pardon? New Year. Did we do that last time? Do what? New Year. As our oh, hashtag. Oh, no. I don't think so. New Year. All right, my friends. So let's go ahead and say you can start now. Put hashtag New Year in the chat. We'll let it run for a bit. And then uh, we'll, we'll say who's going to win a stencil. Do remember that it is, it's actually $15.99 is what you get. And you must place an order of $30 or more. That's the way it is. If you don't want to place an order, go in there. But if you're not pre interested in, in doing that... Most of our people here in the chat have placed yeah. an order or plan on placing one. So I don't feel okay. like it's being... <laughs> We're just going to let <coughs> that one sit a bit and do some more stuff here. Well, look, this one already oh, has thanks. some stuff on it. Thanks, Gretchen. She said, bravo, gave you $5 in Super Chat. Thanks. I just think those little pieces of paper are going to come in real handy when I decide to do something with the smaller version <laughs> of this, which I think maybe I will do right now. Yeah, and if you don't want that 9 by 12 I'll send that one to Carrie. Oh, this other one? The biggest one. Mm -hmm. The biggest one? Or whichever one you didn't use. Because they're basic. The two larger ones are basically the same pattern. I mean, as far as size and everything. I see It's just that. one's 9 by 12 and one's 8 by 10. Okay, well, whatever this one is, you can have oh, I think that's an 8 by 10, but that's fine. Then I don't have to, because this one does take a little while to cut. It's got a lot of holes. Well, yeah, because there's a lot of stuff there. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this has got a little mucky muck on it, but I don't think it's going to be too terribly. All right, I think has everybody got their uh, hashtag New Year in? Let's give it a roll. I'm cutting it off now. Roll. And lover! Well. Oh my goodness. Oh yay. She said, and that's good because she said she was about to place an order. So there you go, Ann. <laughs> the universe. She gets it. And that's exciting. Hooray. Hooray. Okay, I'm going to use some of this Ukus Krill Studio in Mauve. Forty-seven twenty-nine. Now, what's the difference between that one and the one Amsterdam? Because they are similar. They are similar. Um, I would say that this one is slight. Well, it has slightly more red, and I think it's slightly yeah. more transparent. This one's pretty. I like that Lucas Crow one. Oh, opaque. 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 Now I went ahead and put the stencil down on the naked plate because it's the naked plate just has some stuff on it too. I'll just see if we'll just do two birds with one stone here. I like that brighter off. Like I said, this one's a little bit more opaque. I know. I don't, yeah, I don't think that that's a mauve. I mean, I call that like mulberry. <coughs> yes, I definitely would call it more of a, but I like it. Yeah. And it, it I, you can tell that it, it's way different than the color that it looks like in the tube. Mm -hmm. So you really can't. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Ooh. That looks really nifty. And it left some. Okay, now we're going to go with something here that is. Oh, where's my orange? Now let's semi. Yeah. 
Dee Julie. All right, let's use some of this here. This hair. This hair. This hair. But what do you call that there? Um, it's that one that I use all the time when I make green <laughs> when I don't let it dry. <laughs> it's yellow ochre. The butterfly lady uses it quite successfully. Uh, 49 dragonflies is who she's talking oh, about. Oh, not butterfly. Dragonflies. No, dragonfly. I know. You didn't even... You're just sat over there. What? Your, your yellow okra sat for some yeah. time until you saw Forever. it. Forever. Yeah. Because I was just like, I'm really tired of this poopy green that I always get with this. And it was because I never let anything dry. <laughs> so, that's when I, I learned about that. And not just a little bit dry, like Dunsey's dry. Yeah. Dunsey's. Ooh. Oh! Now see, look at how cool that looks. Yes, and those of you that uh, have come in, please do say hello in the chat. We would love to say hello back. If you haven't already, do give those thumbsy upsies. We appreciate those as, as well. Let's let people know that something fun's happening and they might want to come over here. We have about, oh, 30 minutes-ish. I'm going strong. It's just getting, stuff is just getting better. Look at how cool that looks. <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I really like the edge of this. I do too. That was interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I like it. Oh, hello, Sandra. No worries. Thanks for popping in. Oh, look at how cool that looks. I like that yarn yeah, end part. It's fantastic. See if we can pick up some more there before we move along. Is that just paint on your finger? Or? Where? That one. Oh, know, yeah. Like I don't know where it's from. Look hurt. at how cool that looks. Ooh. Now, what will you be using all these little pieces for? Um, I don't know yet. Are you going to make packets? I'm going to make packets one of these days, yeah. Uh, I mean packets. One of these days. My <laughs> packet maker's been ill. I'm <laughs> running low. <laughs> oh, we still have a little bit. Well, that'll be interesting. <laughs> I like this color. Kind of looks like toe prints. Missing two. <clears throat> uh, Carrie says, question, how does the small one look? Oh, how does the small one look like on an ATC? Oh, I think that that's a great size. The, the five by seven would be great to use on an ATC. Or we could offer it as an ATC size. More people have been ordering ATC size stencils lately, which is interesting because it took a while. <coughs> kind of just moving it around and deciding where I can get some more. Aw, thanks, Colleen. Stuff. And let's see if. <laughs> Oh, I like what's happening there. You better choose the right papers. Oh, thanks, Colleen. Appreciate that. Some super chat from Colleen. Thank you. And I must say, I think that this leaf pattern works really well with our leaf pattern. Oh, yeah. I think all the leaves. And even the one that um, Christy Hartman's. I think that, you know, mm -hmm. if you have that, like, being able to put all those together would be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You should do that. Can you find them all? I should. 
Shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> Maybe next week. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, I like that orange. That That's a pretty... I like when, when, when you do the peachy, like, you make that kind of peachy orange. Yeah, me too. I still need to do something to that. This one's kind of boring too. I need to do something to it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that effect that I want here. <laughs> now, what she just put down where was the um, color uh, change. Yeah, and I think I've got enough on here. I'm hoping I can pick up something that's kind of interesting. It's the shuttle art one, raspberry. Yeah. It's probably backwards. It is a, it's a good <laughs> Okay, look at how cool that is. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Now we still have, we're getting we're getting some nice stuff on the plate here that we can deal with. Let's try, uh, yellow, I don't want yellow. Uh, let's try the purple over the yellow. That's always good. This is when you start, you know, when you just give up trying to make something happen just like you want it to happen and just go with it. This is when you usually get your very best stuff. <laughs> oh, I love Fred. She says, now that's actually nice. Thanks, Fred. What? <laughs> I think that last one or whatever. <laughs> oh, no, Fred. Um, give it a good smack. Give it a good smack. If you have any built up frustrations, this is a good time to do it. Just really. Okay, hey, hey, simmer down there, lady. Give her a go. Hey, Karma. Okay, now see, look at that. Looks really cool. Put this over here. Put this down here. Put this over the top of that. Oh, nice. Oh, the pink turned out, turned peachy. She liked that. Oh, and Joan had a, so she says, do you ever shake a bottle of high flow golden and you didn't remember to screw back on the top? And then the, she has a, a scarlet on her computer chair, computer table, and some on the monitor. Yeah. She did it with the purple. I did it with purple. Boy, you got to watch that purple too because it, it's, and when you should give it, you're supposed to shake it up and get the, yeah, balls, the balls going, you know. Oh, look at that. Isn't that, that just wonderful? I love that. I love that one strip for sure. <laughs> this one right here. Yeah. I know. <laughs> that, that's my most favorite thing there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like the rest of it, too. That's the way it goes. Okay, I think we need to get some of that kind of blue on here. And then put it over here on this one. So I think that's what we need. Yeah. That's what we need. Oh, dear. Is it kind of... Oh, this isn't the same blue that I had a while ago. No. This is a little bit more opaque. And of course, I still have some purple on here, so it's not going to be... No. Um, Eddie, uh, you go to the hardware store. And depending on which hardware store... Um, the two main big box stores at Lowe's we were able to have them cut the pieces like you, you just go to the window section and they have the acrylic plates you know plexiglass and they cut it to size like you can, so you can buy one big sheet and then they'll cut it into the various sizes for you oh thank you Dorothy hey, you guys are taking care of us today thank you for that super chat Awesome, awesome. Oh, Menards doesn't cut a thing anymore. Oh, boo on Menards. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do it at they don't do it at Home Depot either. Um, but they did have some standard sizes at Home Depot, but we could only get the frosted glass there or the frosted plexiglass, which I don't like so much. So it, check out Lowe's if yeah. you have one near you. All right, I, I need I need to get something over on this side, and I, I need it to be kind of, I don't know. Yeah, you don't have a lot of pattern or anything. Just get I don't. But hey. I, maybe this. 
think that'll give it have enough oomph in it to come through the the stencil. <laughs> yes. Beware of the rats. What? Eddie says he may have some in the garage. But it's gotta beware of the rats. Um, and, and it's pretty easy to cut. Like, I even cut the last ones for P um, with just the, uh, like a utility, you know, a box cutter. You just score it. Be very careful. Metal ruler. And then I snapped it. Oh, Joan would like to see you use black through the stencil. I can do that. Boston has some biggins. <laughs> what? The, the, the rats in Boston. Looks cool. Oh, yes. What are going to slap this one down on? This one. Yeah, and then Brad even has like a special knife that'll supposedly cut it, but I couldn't find it, so I just scored it like a million times with the box cutter. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So, Reverend Sonia, she said she tried out the the glass from the from like a photo from a frame, and it was fine for the smaller plates, um, but the large one broke. Yeah, yeah, that is exactly what we have discovered. Yeah, so you really do need a, a, a thicker plexiglass, especially the bigger the plate. Oh, okay. Candy says that Joggle sells the acrylic in the size that fit a lot of the gel plates. So do a search for clear acrylic stamp mounts. They are an H in an eighth of an inch thick. Yes, and that's a good thickness. Trying to find my black. There it is. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true, Anne. See this one? It's it's flimsy. And it's cracked here. And so I've got tape on it. Yeah. This was one of the ones that, the first ones that we got. And see, and it's also one of the um, foggy ones. The, you know, what, what did I say earlier? Yeah. Frosted. Thank you. Oh, nice, Diane. Thank you, Julie. Oh, nice, Fran. She's ordered her some eight by ten, and the yeah, the the the, the um, brand name is Perspex. I think that's what some of ours is too here. Okay. There was a couple of different brands. I didn't pull enough off of that. No, you didn't. Oh, and Anne's gonna try the Dremel to cut hers. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna order it. I was like, who's delivering it? <laughs> well, that was less than impressive. Be my black. Yeah. Is that the the really old tube? No, it's Amsterdam. Oh. Not all of me.
having another go at it. Having another go. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, she just wants you to plop the stencil down and rub it onto the brayer off. Well, I don't, I, I, I don't have, it's not wet enough. Your black is being kind of weird. It's being very weird. I don't know what the deal is. <coughs> spidery looking. Oh, that was a good idea for, um, Kerry used one of his spare Big Shot plates for his 5x7. The spot? The winder, you know, the oh. little die cutter, you know. Here we go. That's some pretty that's good interesting definition. I like where that's heading. I do too. Let's use some. Uh, Dorothy's question. No, I didn't. Oh, I still need to know the name of that set of circular stamps you showed at the start, please. Circular stamps. Circular, um, these. Right? Are you talking about that? She said stamps. I don't know what she's talking about with stamps. You didn't do any stamping, did you? No. Oh, those those are stencils. And yeah. those are in our shop. Here, I'll, I'll give you a link. Those are some of Judy's new ones. Those are the medallion coins. There you go. Sorry about that, Dorothy. Miriam says the waxed paper that we recommend is fabulous. Well, good. I love it when we <laughs> recommend good things and people think that they're as wonderful as we think they are. What papers? Um, did I send a set of the circles to for No, I haven't. These just, I, I cut these all, what, I spent all day yesterday, the day before. Getting all these new stencils cut. So, no, she does not have these yet. But, yes, I bet you she would be pretty into these. Ooh -hoo -hoo. That looks cool, I think. I'm just randomly grabbing stuff back here because I, I had all my papers queued up and yeah, we know how. Yeah. Janelle, best laid plans. I know, me too. I still got some good black gunks. 
going on there's here, so I'm gonna there's a cloud. Hit that one again. <laughs> yeah, let's get some of this. Oh, that's kinda dark. Where's that pink I just saw uh, there? Gretchen says that looks like it should be the in it in papers of a murder mystery novel. Yeah. Okay, this is a good color here. This is some of that Windsor Newton Galleria acrylic and permanent rose. <laughs> this is the one that um, <laughs> Carrie sent us a little tube of it, right? No, that was opera rose. Opera rose. Okay, well, they're very similar. They're very yes, bright. they are very similar. <laughs> this has just got a little bit more. Um, the opera rose is very transparent. Mm, yes, yes, yes. This is a bit less. This is deeper, uh, more pigmented, uh, more opaque. Um, yes, Fran and Carrie are um, chatting about that. If you've used your plates to actually cut, like to do the die cuts, and they have cuts in the in the plates, you may not want to use that with your gel plate because no, it will it'll leave a mark. Mark. Well, I think I covered up a little bit more than I wanted to, but I don't know, maybe not. I like that. Yeah. So what else we got here? I don't want to use that one. Uh, Fran says, hey, Pete, I just ordered more pinkish reds today. Am I cured? <laughs> I, I don't know about that, Fran. <coughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what, the reason I, I, some of these pinkish reds that I really do, do like is that they just go so well with some of the greens. Yeah. Like the um, fern and that minty green I have in, I don't know, <laughs> yeah. this one, the Lucas Krill, this, it just looks so cool with this color. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is kind of um, a little play on the, the color combo that they have going on over in Makers. Um, you're going to have to check out Paula's post in Makers, and then Carrie, he'll be doing a video with the teal and purple. When did, can you do a teal and purple? Oh, not right now. <laughs> Got eight minutes. Well, I don't... That's, you're not feeling that? I ain't feeling it. Okay. I just think this is what it needed down here on this end. Can't go wrong with some <laughs> good old. Now, I think in order to get that off there fully, you're gonna have to let it dry. I don't know. But because we're doing paint on paint, a lot of times you don't get as good of a mm -hmm. uh, pull as you would if you were going straight to paper. Look how nifty this color, this thing's looking. Hmm. That's got some texture on it. I can see it. Mm-hmm. See it? Eddie says kind of Rothko-ish. Indeed. Welcome back, Sharon. <laughs> well, I mean, I have gone through a lot of papers here. That's good. You need to cut them up and give me packets. Yeah. All right. Well... Really need something a little less. I don't know if that's going to come off or not. This looked like it was still wet. Real spidery there. Yeah. 
We need to scrape your plates. I need to what? Clean, clean the plates, you know. Oh, this part, yeah, yeah I know. Let's plan with this one. Thoughts? <laughs> it's fascinating. Are you hearing me? Or ignoring me. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> well, I'm starting to get worried I could, about you. I, like, could, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I could say something really, you know, rude, crude, and unrefined. Oh, I appreciate you just holding back. Yeah, That's okay. Very kind of you. Yeah, I was just try trying to be, you know, <laughs> take the high road. Bye, Eddie. Thanks for hanging. Look at that. Oh. Oh, be sure to come back. Um, we are still, um, I, I think there were about 20 away or so. I, I don't, I, I didn't look at it today, but we will be doing the giveaway. Oh, that does remind me. And I'm glad that I got to be able to say this at the, towards the end here. So we are in major discussions on the, on our ability to show us doing the bags, the printing on the bags. We, we, we've discussed it. We, we have not figured out, because there just isn't any way in our current setup that it's going to be able to happen. We don't have enough cameras or enough arms. Yeah, because we need three people, and then we need two different cameras and to be able to move around, and we just don't think it's going to be good for a live stream. So our plan is to kind of do the process video like we did before, and then we will discuss, you know, in the stream later on, we can show the bags and kind of talk through them. And then we'll show, you know, have the process video come up later on. Because it's just, it, it, it requires a lot of space and, and you got to move. Like, so it's not anything that we can really stop and have conversation about. No. Or anything like that. Um, for it to be successful. Because one of the things that we do is we get, okay, look at how cool mm -hmm. that is. Very nice. Just really, I love this over here. Oh, <laughs> and Diane would like you to hold that up into the technology. She'd like to see the goose turdy green bits that are awesome. Very nice. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm just, I really like this blue over the orange there. Uh -huh. I think that that works really well too. You want to kind of flip through them because we've got about two minutes here. Well, I'm going to see if I can, I can get some definition down here. Okay. First. Well, you got two minutes. Two. 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 Dos. One. Dos minutos. Uno. Uno momento. One? Mm. That's how it happens. It's a countdown. Time never stops for you. <laughs> oh, yes. This, this has been a really wonderful stream. Thank you, guys. I mean, much... It, like a great welcome back for sure we've sat at almost 100 the entire stream which is a, kind of a new record for us so that that's very exciting no he's doing <laughs> Ooh, good job uh -oh. i don't agree with this oh boy you got lucky on that 
This luck is not involved. I beg your pardon. All right, guys. Well, uh, Pete, pulling it off here. She's just really trying to mess it up. Um, which trend is. <laughs> You're just <laughs> such a poopy diaper head, Mariah. All right. Um, we will be back on Thursday for some Thursday thoughts. I don't really know what those are. I had some thoughts about things, and then I decided that I wasn't going to talk about that. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you just need to get over some things and move along, and, you know, life moves on. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Got all the announcements. If you want to know any more about all that, um, go back to the beginning. Uh, lots going on over in the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. That's where you see many of these lovely folks that hang out here in the chat. They also post their art in um, Makers. Along with all the challenges and fun things that we have going on with our arty council. Anne is, a head, is the head of that. And then many of the lovely folks here have their different you know things that they have going on in the group as well. Let's see. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say before we got off. I think that's kind of it. Howdy thoughts on what to chit chat about on Thursday? Do let us know. Um, I know Carrie had had a really great thought. I need to go look back at that. Um, I do think he kind of covered some of that in one of his videos here lately, but it might be nice to discuss as well over here. So lots of fun stuff happening. Um, Shoot, I just thought, lost my thought once again there. Oh, it's my brain. It's running low. It's running low. All right, guys. We'll see you back here on Thursday. Thanks for Bye. hanging. Bye. Bye.